Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 25 past 9 on Sunday the 30th of January 2022. I've just defluffed Biggie because he had some matted bits in his fur so we had to cut those bits off. Currently reading The Ghosts of Sleeth by James Herbert. I'm about two thirds of the way through. It's pretty good so far. And um, yeah, I'm going to go and do some filming now. I have three reviews to film. Plus a whole bunch of videos. There are 12 videos on my list to film Not gonna get them all done tonight, but I'll do some of them and then I'll do some editing later on this evening. Hopefully You can say hi biggie Hello people of the internet Hello Dane reads Hello everybody. It is currently uh, 10 to midnight on Monday the 31st of January. I'm very tired I might go to bed soon even though I went to, so I went to bed at 8 a.m. and woke up at 8 p.m. So it's not as though I've been awake that long. Um, but I've got a busy day tomorrow because the cleaner's coming. So I have to be awake for that. And then I have a two hour call at 4 p.m. Which I also obviously have to be awake for. I've done some filming today. I've finished filming all of my reviews now. Uh, I finished reading The Ghosts of Sleeth by James Herbert. So that was like 3.5 out of 5. And now I am just finishing off Untold Stories by Alan Bennett. Um, so as you can see I'm mostly done. This has been my bedtime book for quite a long time because as you can see it's a chunker and a lot of this has just been like journal entries. So I got to about 100 pages from the end so I figured I'm going to squeeze that in and finish that off. Uh, then I'm going to read The Scarecrow of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Um, so my next bedtime book is going to be Stephen, Cry Stephen Fry's Complete and Utter History of Classical Music which I'm not particularly looking forward to getting to but hey ho. Uh, this does mean I'm currently on 14 books currently reading, which is good. So four more and I'll be on 10, which is like my goal. I want to keep around 10. Um, I've been watching Armed and Deadly Series 2. Well, I've just started, which is about gang wars. But I think there's only like two episodes for me to watch. No, I don't think I have yeah, seen go on, it. Go on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Episode. It just thinks, I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, so I'm going to watch that um, before I get back to my um, YouTubes, I guess. I guess I haven't seen it because normally I rate things with a thumbs up on Netflix once I've seen them so that I don't accidentally watch them again thinking I haven't seen them. Um, my list on Netflix is ridiculous at the moment. There's like 60 odd things on it. So I'm trying to crack on with that whilst also staying up to date with my YouTube subscriptions. I'd listen to a bit more of um, fucking John Steinbeck as well. So that's coming along. Just cracking on really. Went to Morrison's earlier to get some treats for Biggie and a few other bits. Um, just trying to get done what I can before the cleaner comes, but obviously as I say I'm, I'm pretty tired. So, Also been trying to get my printer working because it doesn't want to print at the moment. So I've resort resorted to trying to get it to work from my phone. And it's still like, nah mate, nah, I'm not going to find a printer for you. What, what if I put my printer's not listed? I just want to be able to print. I've got some stuff I've sold and I need to be able to print the the thingies. Go to your Wi-Fi settings on this mobile device. Motherfucking, it's just so ridiculous, mate. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to print. That's all I want to do. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I'll love you and leave you. You're going to go and print up a couple of other stuff as well. Hello, everybody. I guess I will turn the light on, even though it's very bright in here but I'm not showing up very bright. It is um, half past four on Friday the 4th of February. It has been uh, a, a bit of a week, not gonna lie, NGL. Um, it's just been super busy with work and stuff. Um, my sleep's been all over the place. Oh, and I'm now pinging, who's pinging me? My friend Jo? Good. She's she's doing her walk because we're we're getting competitive on Fitbit trying to outdo each other on walks um, So we're both doing quite well. I went for a walk earlier. Yeah, my sleep's been all over the place this week um, So I've literally just been sleeping waking up working going back to sleep, etc um, Today I woke up at 6 a.m So that's quite good I'm just cracking on. Tomorrow I'm hopefully meeting Sabrina and we're going to Marlow, which is where I used to work, um, to check out the charity shops because it's quite a posh area. So there's some good stuff in the charity shop, some good books, but also all kinds of good stuff. I mean, she wants to get a vase. We're going to do our charity shop challenge as well. So we have two pounds. And the challenge is to get the most beautiful but useless thing we can get for two pounds. Um, 
so we're going to go and do that and then have a pint and stuff as well I'm sure um, and then other than that I'm just going to work all weekend um, I've been doing some houseworky bits my bookcase in the living room collapsed so I built a new bookcase uh, ordered one from Argos and set that up and um, moved all my books over onto that so that's what I did today um, gonna go and do some bits in the garden and stuff currently catching up with my watch later on YouTube I'm alternating between that and films on Netflix so I just watched Outpost which was a zombie Nazi movie that was terrible although earlier today I watched the rise of the craze which was quite good um, so yeah that's what I've been doing books wise what have we got down here okay I'm still li listening to my audiobook of uh, East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I'm now about a third of the way through and I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely glad I'm doing it as an audiobook though because I think I'm enjoying it more because of that. Um, okay, so I guess this is the order I read them in. So I finished reading The Ghosts of Sleeth by James Herbert. 3.5 out of 5. Pretty good. Um, I've probably already talked about that. I can't remember. Um, those two I think are just down there because I need to photograph them. Um, then I finished reading uh, Untold Stories by Alan Bennett which was my bedtime book. Um, and so yeah, that was good to tick that off. I've read the last hundred or so pages as my main book. Um, about the last this much of this much. Um, yeah, it was good. I mean there were a lot of diary entries in it and stuff. To be honest, I gave it like a three out of five. It was one that you're only going to be interested in if you're an Alan Bennett fan, but I am. Then I read The Scarecrow of Oz by L. Frank Baum. So uh, this is the latest in the buddy reads I've been doing with Joel Swagman. So I have my review of that film shortly. Quite good. Um, definitely better than the last one. My only feedback about this one would be it didn't really need to be an Oz book. I mean, sure, the Scarecrow's in it, but he shows up towards the end. So he's not really that necessary. Um, and then all the others like Dorothy and all those like they just show up to make a little cameo at the end and stuff So it could have just not been an Oz book and it probably would have worked better But having said that then I might not have read it. So there is that anyway I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5 as I say review coming soon And now I'm reading Ash by James Herbert So this is actually the final book that he ever wrote and it's also the final book in the David Ash series um, Basically the action taking place at this like Scottish castle where the rich and the elite go um, They go and kind of leave Civilization I guess so a lot of them there have like faked their own deaths and stuff and they go and they get pumped full of drugs and stuff But they live a very nice life, but they're also kind of in prison and uh, Ash goes along because there's these ghostly goings-on happening um, I'm not gonna lie so you can see how far in I am and I'm already at the point where I'm like, oh, I just want it to finish now. <laughs> so and I'm less than halfway through. Um, it's quite good in terms of the writing and the concepts good. I think I'm just bored of David Ash. I mean, they've not been that the first two weren't that great. This one is probably the best of the lot, but I'm worried about the pacing because it seems to be slowing down and not that much has really happened. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see how we get on. But that's what I'm currently reading. And then I'm probably going to read um, Jackie S. What's what's the book called? Daryl by Jackie S. Uh, it's about a cuckold called Daryl. Uh, published by Clash Books. I know the guy who runs... Well, the, the husband... Are they... Yeah, they are married. Husband and wife who run Clash Books. Uh, Laser or Lisa. I call her Lisa, but that might just, just might be my accent. She recently had a kid like a week ago or so so I imagine they're both hopefully taking it a little bit easy <laughs> but yeah I, I've been meaning to get to this book for a while and um, I got it with one of the Amazon voucher I got for Christmas I've also ordered the next Oz book I'm now at the point I'm down to 13 currently reading um, so I'm basically now got it going so that I'm gonna order a book wait for that to arrive order another book wait for that to arrive and so on and so forth um, but as I say, I'm doing the charity shops this weekend, so I may end up buying a bunch of books. We will see. But I think that's where I'm at. And there's Biggie. He's going downstairs. Are you going to sit on the stairs, are you? He likes to sit on the stairs so that I trip over him when I go down and don't see him there. Uh, greetings. It is currently 25 to 3 on Sunday the 6th of February 2022. I'm a little bit hungover, not going to lie, but uh, it's all right. Um, I'm still reading 
Ash by James Herbert. It's all right. That's about all I got for you. About 200 pages left to go, so it's it's not too bad. I'll get there in the end. Um, I got most of my houseworky bits done, so that's all good. I do have a few bits I do want to do, but as I say, I'm slightly hungover. So yesterday, um, I went to meet Sabrina in town. We met about uh, half 12. She got me a sausage roll from Wenzel's which was delicious, vegan sausage roll. Um, so I'm now a convert, I need to go there and get some more really. Um, and I got us both a coffee. And then yeah, we headed into Marlow, we went around the charity shop, so I hauled a bunch of stuff, about 10 new books, something like that. It puts me, my current reading is now on 22, um, which isn't too bad, I can live with that. Um, so uh, yeah. That's good. A lot of them are smaller books as well, so it's not going to, you know, keep me going forever. Um, but it will give me, it does give me a little bit of wiggle room um, while I wait for some more books to come that I've ordered online and stuff. Uh, anyway, we also went to the pub, so that's why I'm hungover. Um, we went to one pub and had like two and a half pints there and did a crossword, as you do. And then we went to the Antelope, which is a pub here in Wickham, and we had some vegan food from the food van. Um, and then headed home about half eight-ish, wild Saturday night. Um, I got up about 8 a.m. this morning, I've been pretty tired. I almost went to sleep for a little snooze earlier, but I ended up just browsing through TikTok instead. Um, and I'm currently watching, just coming up to the end of 137 Shots, um, which is basically about police violence against black people in the United States. Very messed up, I mean, it's interesting, but it's, it's one of those documentaries where it, it, that justice isn't happening, you know, and it's really irritating to watch justice not happen and for people to just get killed with no ramifications and the police to blatantly cover their own asses and everyone knows that's what they're doing. It's just, it's irritating, you know. But yeah, so that is what I'm doing. I'm going to do some more of my watch later on YouTube in a bit. I'm doing little bits of work here and there. I've got a Skype call at five. Um, with JV Hilliard, that should only take half an hour or so maximum. And, uh, yeah. And I think I'm gonna love you and leave you with that. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these books, if you read them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Peace out, bye-bye.